So starting out, what do you need? I have 91% alcohol in this spray bottle. And you wanna go ahead and clean out your surfaces, especially with the glass and the poly, because you don't know if there's uh, fuzz or dust, if they've been sitting on the shelves. Um, you just wanna get that clean out. You know that if you can't reach the bottom of something and you've got a handy dandy spatula around, you ain't gonna be afraid to use it. Now we are ready to start with our polyacrylic so it can begin draining. So I'm gonna use a paper towel, a couple of paper towels, and I'm going to fold them up. Can you guys see okay? I'm going to fold them up and put them in a plate. Now, I'm going to use my poly, and this is the clear gloss. And I'm just going to spoon it into the cup. It's okay if you get too much because I'm going to show you how we are going to drain it. Then you just want to take this and swirl it around covering every bit of your surface. And then there is a little bit extra. So I'm just going to drain it by pouring it back into the container. Now here's a tip with these. Since this is water-based and so easy to clean up, I use baby wipes. Um, if it gets on the outside of the glass. No, this is not a drinking cup. This is for display. So if you had pens, um, like for the teachers, I'm going to do one for pencils, markers, and crayons. So I have a little bit on the outside. And I can go ahead and start to clean that up and then drain it right okay next step let's do it again we're gonna do three of these tonight they're so fast to make y'all so fast to make so much fun and you know how scents reminds you like scent reminds you of things i'm i feel like it's christmas time because <laughs> I did so many of these during Christmas for gifts. They really are so much fun to make. All right. And then I will use a baby wipe to clean off the surface. And then we're gonna lay it down to drain and repeat with number three. Is anybody out there OCD like me? Like everything I has to do, I have to do is in even numbers. So, like I scoop four spoonfuls of the poly into the cup, not, I mean, not even knowing exactly how much I needed. And I think some people are opposite. They'll do like odd numbers. Okay. 
and then I'll lock the outside. So now we are getting ready to start our glitter process. Let me move these around. So look at how much drained, if you can see, how much drained out of the first cup. So you still have coverage down here. You just want it to drain so that your glitter doesn't um, kind of chunk up. So let's look at colors. Every month they have a subscription box and you can sign up for these through their website. Um, but this is this is the colors that they that I picked to do um, this tutorial for, which I'm super super excited about. And let's go ahead and look. so I'm not gonna use this. I just want to use this on a cup to see how good it is because it is absolutely amazing. Um, this is a maze balls. Has have any of you guys used a maze balls yet? Also, these come with shakers. So you don't have to go out and buy extra shakers. They're already ready for you to use. And you really can't see the amazingness of it, but it is a silver, shiny, beautiful white. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, then we have Cheeky, which we will be using Cheeky on a cup tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead, they pack these super safely and I'm going to take the lid off so that now we can use our shaker. Then I'm going to use this one. It is Purple Hannah Rainbow Series. It's so beautiful. This one has like a holographic look to it. It's so much fun and really good for the classroom. They're doing, Miss Lee Ellen is doing her classroom in, um, rainbow thing so that's perfect this one is sea diamonds and Hannah I'm so proud of you you're doing such big things but you can see sea diamonds is absolutely amazing too so we're gonna use that color and let me show you like you can see on the top of the shaker this is sea diamonds look how shiny and that's just what's on the top and then this one is purple rainbow collection they're so shiny and then this one is cheeky they're amazingly shiny okay and then she sent me a blueberry which is amazing it is such a like a rich color oh my gosh it's so beautiful and then she sent me dress blues which is absolutely beautiful too um, I'll let you see it's just so 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 shiny yep I love sea diamonds too I think that one is my favorite then if you guys ordered a July box this is what came in it so for July they were all chunky which is so much fun you get well or a mix you get twilight let me show you Look at this one, how pretty. So pretty. And I love that these already come in shakers because that way I don't have to worry about transferring them over and that is such a relief. This one is Riptide Rush. And this may be one of my favorites. Wow, this is beautiful. And these came in her July boxes. But this one is Riptide Rush. She has a really pretty green one, Loch Ness. It has some gorgeous holographic in it. So pretty. And this one is called Lemonheads. And look how pretty this one is. It's a chunky, chunky yellow. Love it. And then this one is Dreamsicle. And it's a mix chunky between orange and silver. This is perfect for summer. And then there's Wicked, which I really like too. This will really, really be fun for um, uh, Halloween because if you look, it looks like it has googly eyes. <laughs> How amazing is that? That's so much fun. So those are all super amazing and beautiful. 
And look, I love the top of the box. It says, there's no such thing as enough glitter. So like as soon as you open the box, you get reminded. And I love that. All right, so let's get to glittering. Let's make sparkly things. All right, so the first one I'm going to do sea diamonds. And literally, you cannot use or put too much glitter in this. You are going to um, save all of this glitter. So don't be afraid, just dump it in the bottom and then we're gonna start to swirl. See how beautiful that is? And her glitter is so um, amazing, it only needs one coat. Like, I'm not gonna have to do a second coat on that. Look how pretty that is. Sea glasses, oh my gosh, y'all, sea glass is so pretty. Can you see how amazing? Ah, uh, and then I'll do a decal that says like pencils on the outside. So sea glass is legit, but let me find a piece of paper in here. Well, my paper is up high, so let me grab it. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Have to get the supplies. Good thing I'm just around it all. Um. All right, so now what I'll do is I have my glass and I'm going to shake it all the way around the outside so it does cover that rim. Does that make sense? And then, oh my gosh, this glitter, y'all. I'm just gonna take it and, sorry if it shakes you, but I'm just gonna tap it down. Look at all that extra we got out. Amazing. And then to seal it, I have some, inside I have some two-time um, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear, um, or you can use triple thick spray. And then I'll just take, let me show you. I'll take a paper towel and wrap it up like a baby and then spray inside of it and it's going to coat it. You can also use a little tiny bit of Mod Podge. Um, but the Mod Podge I've seen with a lot of people is that um, it is a disaster. So sealing it with the spray makes it super, super easy. Yeah, it would have been perfect for your beach cup. So now I just need to wait for it to dry, but I'm, I'll probably spray paint these white. But now these are ready, they'll say pencils, and uh, maybe I won't put that on there at all. I don't know. But that one is sea glass and probably won't. It is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, Melanie, I know which cup you're talking about now. Yeah, you do need this. And you can borrow some. All right, so now I'm just going to put this back inside because I don't want to lose any sea glass. That's good enough. I'll fix you off camera. And I'll fix you off camera. All right, so let's go with our next one. And we're going to do Cheeky. So again, don't overthink it, just dump it. Oh my gosh, this one's my favorite. So Cheeky is pink, but it's like, like the perfect pink, I think. All right, got the pink at the bottom, and then now we're just going to swirl it around. So make sure that if you gift these to anybody, um, you do not drink out of these. These are not safe to drink from. These are for display only. 
They're good in my shop to keep like infusible ink pens or regular Cricut pens. Um, but makeup brushes, do not let your customers drink from these or, um, you know, whoever you give to. That's a magic trick right there. That gets all the extra out. All right. And see, it's so rich that this will be the only coat that I have to um, get this from. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, that I have to do. The jars came from the Dollar General. They were literally a dollar. I found them in their craft section, or their craft supply section, and was like, okay, these are going home with me. I'm obsessed. And they, like I said, they were a dollar. Now, if you don't find any at your Dollar General, or if you don't have a Dollar General, you can find the wine glasses at, um, the Dollar Tree and that's what I use for my first tutorial but I love these because they're bigger and more pens and markers can fit inside um, for Miss Lee Ellen. Alright now we're gonna do Twilight. This is our last one. No purple. This one's purple. Rainbow. So sorry. There is a Twilight. Yeah, there is. This one is Twilight, and that's why I said that. I was looking at it, which that would be super pretty too. But I'm going to keep with these light tones because she is doing, um, she is doing a rainbow thing. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. And if you would like to join Patron Labs, you can log on to patreon.com slash Holly Mostella and join us every Friday night.